Cantor, he'd predominantly been a breeding stallion. He had shown first level and did the movements after a fashion up to pre saint George and a little above. But he and Liz have undertaken a rigorous training program here together and she's now beginning to get her act together on his bigger movements and his more power. So head him at an angle to M there. Right, good for you. After Liz has come around the short side, I'll ask her to ride head to the wall, which is the easiest way to do leg yield. As you can see, Liz has movements going right through her spine, which you would not see in a more organized rider. Sort of wobbling out right. Okay, all right, come back round again. When you read in the books about the aids for the lateral movements, it will tell you about where your inside leg should be, where your outside leg should be, where your inside hand should be, and where your outside hand should be. What it won't tell you about is the position of your pelvis, the position of your shoulders, the position of the axis of your body. So the whole middle part of your body here just tends not to be talked about. But really just the same as all the basic work on turns and circles. With my understanding of riding, that's the bit that makes it happen. If you don't have your pelvis organized right on the horse and you don't have a way of organizing your two thighs and his rib cage in between them, you might as well forget it. It's definitely not going to work. So Liz is making the archetypal mistake here, leaning her body away from the direction she wants to go in, losing all contact with this seat bone. Check out that right seat bone now, Liz. Got it. You've got it. Head at the angle to M. And is it? Keep having the right seat bone there. Keep having the right seat bone there. Whoops. And the left has to come a little bit more back. You've got it, Liz. Good. Keep checking your shoulders, checking the right seat bone. Liz positions him very Good well you, here. Liz. But as she continues down the long side, she becomes progressively more wobbly. OK. Bring yourself round again here. As Liz enters the movement, she has insufficient angle. When she tries to correct, the horse stops going forward and instead he falls sideways. Hang in there at that angle to the wall. Good. Now what's happening to your axis this way? Again, I'm going out. All right, so your shoulders right. are going back up the other end of the school there. Right. Okay. Now maybe halt just here. Okay. Good. Halt. Okay. So, as Liz comes towards us here, it's not so easy to see what happens with her shoulders but we can certainly see what needs to happen on this side of her body. If she's going to be able to keep his quarters to the inside here and not have them drift back to the wall or just have him go on straight as if nothing was happening, one of the things she has to do is to get the sensation here of as if I was pushing on her thigh and pulling on her backside. Yeah. It's that kind of positioning there. Normal would be more like this, and the more it goes wrong, the more that'll happen. Your yeah. bum will go there, right? Your knee will come away. What starts to